Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Ark Survival Evolved on Valgiro. Last time we left off gathering resources to tame a golem. Uh, since Vaughn isn't on right now, I figured I'd take the time and try to gather up as much obsidian as I could. That way he can make cannonballs and things just go well for today. Because once he logs on and we make the cannonballs, we're going golem hunting. And that's an Alpha Carno right there that I don't want to really play with, so I hope hopefully he's not guarding any obsidian. The unfortunate part about obsidian is as of right now, the RG is the only only one I have that has any kind of weight reduction with this stuff. So he's the one that we'll have to take and look around for. I know there's some on this mountain somewhere. Um, not up here. Oh, well, kind of up here, right there. Don't need the stone. All right. There's some. Now, the last time I did the Parasirium and the cannon trick was on Aberration when me and Avenger tamed a crab. And then I found a better method to tame crabs and I used a crab trap. So, <laughs> we're probably gonna mess up a little bit. That's why we're making so many cannonballs, also. Uh, we already... what? Raptors? Um... You got this, right? Oh, you don't got this. Oh, you don't got this. Save me. Good bird. But yeah, that's where we're gonna make so many cannonballs. Uh, I think we decided on making about 40 cannonballs. So even if we mess up one golem, we'll still have enough left over for another. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. At this point in time, I really, I have no idea how many cannonballs it would take to knock a golem out. But before we do any of that, we need the obsidian. And we got a pretty good amount over here. Kind of wish I had a better pickaxe, but we haven't found the blueprint for one yet. There's a raptor over there. If you guys didn't see it. Is there any more obsidian? Yes, there is. Very nice, very nice. Am I safe? All right, bird's eye view. Let's see what we got. That's a Rex. Fantastic. Uh, 25. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not... I mean, it's bad, but it's not that bad. It could be worse. How distracted are you? No, nope, not as distracted as I thought you were going to be. I want nothing to do with it. Would you mind buggering off? That way I can collect the, uh, the obsidian right there. Apparently not. Alright, cool. He doesn't mind. Um, a little further away would be nice. But I'll take my chances. Now there's another one over 
here-ish? Yeah, right there. Like, I'm staying close to the bird in case we need a quick escape. That's my cue to bail. Um, see you bye. I don't see any more obsidian. Alright, let's take this back to the base and uh, see what we end up with. Because I'm not seeing anymore so I had an idea you know why torment torment myself and run around the entire map looking for just a couple pieces of obsidian when I can go to the island and get obsidian but first I'm gonna make me some good tools Otter. All right. So, uh, where are my tools at? Did I put them away in my box? Uh, not there. Not, not seeing it here. Um, this one. There they are. Very nice, very nice. And my sword. Excellent. Canteen, crossbow, pickaxe, some arrows, okay. Anyway. I have been on the island for so long and so many people have joined me you know throughout my time here that we have tons of stuff uh generator still good on gas good good so let's throw these two things in the grinder for now because I don't need them and then go to our blueprint box here and see what we need let's see build saddle armor here we go Alright, we need a pickaxe, we need a sword, a torch, uh, don't need a club, I don't think. Um, definitely an axe and a sickle. Yeah, I think that's about everything. Do I want to make a gun? No, I don't. I don't think I need to make a gun. Uh, I've got a. I've got a pretty decent one right now that Vaughn made for me. Okay, so first things first, because I just remembered this. We need to get rid of somebody from the tribe list. Uh, where are they? There we go. And bye-bye. Now you'll notice it says we're only on day 86. And if you guys recall, you know, there was one of those updates that cleared all the logs. So we're not actually on day 86. We're on day, like, 886 or something like that for, uh the island but because of that one wipe that uh, wildcard did by accident a little while back ago I actually had to come back on here and uh, rebuild everything and it was one of the few times where I actually typed in the codes for everything I, I originally had uh, dinos blueprints 
you know, obviously I didn't try to get like the absolute best of the best top tier stuff because I could have sat there and typed the blueprint in the blueprint code in a dozen times and gotten an axe that had like you know 800% damage but I'd never be able to make it because there's nothing to be able to hold that many resources All right, I can make two of these I need to make three of everything so I need to go gather some resources And next, the sword, which is a lot of metal and a lot of hide. I can do that. Yeah, you're gonna, you can see how this is gonna go. This is, it's pretty bad. But it has to be done, especially since um, these tools that I'm making now, I'm probably going to take with me to Ragnarok. So, definitely, definitely going to come in handy. Uh, put the blueprint away so I don't make it again by accident. more metal and a little bit of hide all right everything's made it took ages but I've got it all I'll just put our blueprints back Awesome, awesome. Do I want to make myself some armor? Um... No, I don't. Put back the... No, I don't have any metal on me. Cool, cool. Alright, so put away some fiber. Put away some wood. And put away some hide. Then we'll throw all this up into the transmitter and then grab some obsidian. Which I will not subject you guys to. I know how boring it is going back and forth from the vault uh, a couple dozen times. But I'll uh, I'll throw some obsidian in the transmitter and then uh, I will head back to Valgiro. With all of our new presents. Awesome, awesome. All right. Now that we're heading back to Valgiro, uh, all I need to do is put everything away, wait for Vaughn to log in, and uh, we'll be golden. Yeah, I gave our gave ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of obsidian. Again, I'm not gonna subject everybody to watch me put all this away. That's pretty boring stuff. So I'll get this put away. And now that Vaughn is online, we are making some cannonballs. We already loaded up the smithy table. We're just gonna gotta, just gonna grab the cannonballs now. I swear I can talk. I promise I can.
and then we'll throw them on the Paraceratherium. I'm getting really good at saying that. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. And then we'll go golem hunting. Now we have decided that uh, ice golem is going to be the target. For a bit there, we thought, eh, why not a chalk go golem? They're nice and close. And then we're like, yeah, well, the ice one is cooler. Literally. And it's blue. So we're going to go after an ice one. The problem is, their territory is hella far away, and that boy right there is very slow. Very, very ridiculously slow. And it is now very, very ridiculously dark, and I can't see nothing. Vaughn, on the other hand, can, because he turns his gamma way up. And I try to do that, and it doesn't really work that well for me. Like, I can see a little bit, but I can't see a lot of it. So. We just gotta, just gotta grab some stuff, and then we'll be off. Uh, Vaughn's driving, obviously. So first and foremost, we need the golem's saddle, and I think we have one? I'm not sure. Let's check. Ah, we do have one. Alright. Then we're going to need its kibble, and we have been making kibble, as you can see. We even have some more eggs and some veggie cake. We've been busy with uh, our taming supplies. So we'll grab some kibble. We got the saddle, we have the Paraceratherium, we have a cannon, uh, plus or minus about 40 cannonballs. So it's time for an expedition. He's got his bulb dog in case it gets too damn dark and I can't see nothing. He's also got the little glowy robot, which kind of helps me a little bit. Uh, okay. Really dark up here. Really dark up here. I just thought of something. Since we're gonna be on this thing for so long, I need a way to kind of glue myself to it. So, I think I'm going to make myself either a chair or a bench. That way I am officially stuck to the platform saddle. Because one, I can't see, so I'm not driving. And if he goes through water and goes underwater, it'll immediately kick me off. It's just my thought process here, if you guys are following along. So if I put a platform saddle, that, or not a platform saddle, but a bench or a chair down, I won't get kicked off. Also, I want to see what's going on, so I'm going to light my torch. He's just looking at his map. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to go make myself a seat. That way I, I am glued to the saddle. Do I already have one? Like, did we find one? Uh, no. Dang. Is it made? Uh, I don't remember. Is it made in the smithy or in inventory? I want a bench. A bench would be cooler. Seats three. It's an inventory thing. Gotcha. All right. What do I need for it? Uh, bench. A little bit of wood, a little bit of thatch, a little bit of, no problem, no problem. I need to pull the bench back up. it. 
miscellaneous? No. Structures. Uh, I don't know where the bench is. Furniture, maybe? No, that's a rug. Oh, hey, look, I found it. I found it. Alright, so a little bit of thatch, a little bit of fiber. Okay. That was, that was so bad. Why didn't, why didn't I think furniture to begin with? That was so bad. There's, there's probably people who are watching this going, Furniture, dummy, furniture! And it's like, I'm sorry. Alright, let me place my seat down. I can't see crap. This looks like a good spot. Alright, <laughs> it's literally been ages, but we're in rock go elemental territory, or rock golem, whatever you want to call them. There's one right there, level 15. And now we know what they look like. Because we were having a problem finding them. We didn't we didn't know what their rocks looked like. Because I was looking for like the scorched earth type of rock. Which is more of a sandy color. And that looks nothing like that. So now we know what to look for. And yeah, Vaughn's still driving. Like for most of the trip I was totally AFK. I went and watched YouTube. This thing's so slow. Okay, let's see if we can spot another golem. Whoa! That is hard to see. I have my, uh, my shake turned off, so... I don't see another one anywhere. Um, the one over there? No. Up there? At least I can see stuff now. Never mind. Are we even moving? Oh yeah, I guess we are. Hmm. If I was a high level golem, where would I hide? There's one right there. 85. That's not too bad. We'll keep it in mind though. If we can't find anything better, we'll come back to the 85. one over there, but he's moving around and I can't see it. Oh, there we go. Uh, Twenty. No good. No good. Another 85. Okay, so we have a backup 85. We accidentally killed the first golem. Okay. Uh... I'll actually be right back. Give me a second. I'm back. And while I was AFK, uh, Vaughn found this. So, you know, we're going to go after that. Yeah, it's still over there. I'm 
not entirely sure how to get to it though. And that mammoth might might wake it up. Hmm. We are on a mission. We are gonna get us a golem. We have spotted the suitable one and we're we're on it. You know I'm probably sure there's an easier way to uh, actually get one of these guys and I'm sure there's people who are watching they're like why didn't you do it this way I didn't know about that way I, I knew about the cannon trick that's about the best I've got Uh oh, the golem's awake. This is bad. Okay, the golem went back to sleep. Let us get into position. I don't know how close I need to be. Vaughn's trying to put his bulb dog down. That looks pretty lined up, doesn't it? I'm not sure. Like, this thing's gonna be moving around so much. Uh. Oh, idea. So it's still there, <clears throat> obviously. It's it's gonna be tricky. I better grab some cannonballs. I'm also gonna need to uh, try to aim for the head. I don't think force feeding this thing's berries healing it. Grab some cannonballs here and get this show on the road. Oh, I can't access the inventory. I need to put a few cannonballs away. There. Uh, inventory, cannonball, it's looking the wrong way, uh, 
Oh, I almost got Vaughn. Need to aim up just a little bit, put a cannonball in. Oh, he bent down. This is difficult. Vaughn, you need to get the dude to look at me. Retreat. I'm kind of using those two little handles on the top to try to aim this thing. That didn't work. Ow. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, I guess I'm still shooting. Okay, uh, cannonballs, please. Got him. Alright, this is easier. We should have did this from the start. This is incredibly difficult. And it seems like every other shot hits him. Oh. I will admit I am not the best gunman. It was worth a try though. And we do technically have enough cannonballs to uh try again. If we find another one. But... This thing died. So we were, we were heading back to base. We were pretty much done. And... Vaughn spotted this. So I started driving the Parasite Ethereum. And he was shooting. And he, he could see better. I've been on guard detail. I wasn't paying attention. The golem's awake. We need to we need to get back to the base. There's a lot of wolves and dangerous stuff around and so far they haven't bothered us. So far. But they're in the distance. So yeah. It's a, it's a good little good little golem, but we got to get them back to base. All right, back to base and uh, we finally have a rock elemental. You know, sorry you couldn't see the taming process. It was dark as crap and even I couldn't see. But if you guys have name suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, and goodbye.